Hi there, I'm Amy Darone. I've been a yoga teacher for how many years now? Uh, a lot. <laughs> I don't feel like doing the math. I want to get you on the mat. But I've been teaching for a very long time. And uh, you're probably more familiar with me under the name Road Home Yoga or Road Home Empower. Um, you can now find me under Refuge Yoga. I am very excited to be putting myself back out there to you. I'm very excited to be teaching yoga, meditation. I've also, um, a life coach practice started to develop um, me uh, years ago when I had to do a lot of my own coaching through a lot of trauma and grief and loss. And... I also am a coach now for other people in trauma, in addiction, recovery, anxiety, PTSD, grief, and deep loss. So I'm welcoming you and I'm welcoming me back. Let's begin. And if you like this and you get something from it, please, 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 uh, share it. You don't know what kind of impact putting yourself out there to somebody where you'll think it's no big deal, but it could be everything to them. Come onto your mat and come onto your mat. Um, we'll get to down dog. We'll build into that, but come onto your mat right now in onto your back. Uh, oftentimes we'll start out in the practice and we don't have that flexibility that really it shows up later. So we'll do a few poses to start easing in. On your back, have your feet hip width apart. And your arms are out to the sides and your palms face the ceiling. And I'd like you to just um, take a breath in so your belly and chest rises up. And on the exhalation, let everything fall. And if you've been under a lot of stress and you've been kind of a crazy schedule and very busy and running around or a lot of anxiety, maybe your breath is more in reverse. Like I say, inhale and your body wants to exhale. So follow that rhythm where you start. And then you'll get to where I'm guiding. And that's really what the practice offers. It offers show up as it is. And let's just start. On the inhale, let your belly rise up a little bit more. And now this time, open your mouth and don't be in a rush, but just steadily move that exhalation through. Mouth can be wide open. Just get the air out for now. <sighs> really good. Now go ahead, take a breath in, and please put the sound of awe into your own voice. Let that expression come out. Your nervous system will appreciate it. Ah. Now take another breath in, and as you're exhaling, drop your knees right. Look to your left shoulder, but close your eyes. Chin tucks into your chest. Take a breath in to bring your knees back up. And as you exhale, let your knees fall left. The exhalation drops the legs toward the floor, chin tucks into the right shoulder. Inhale back up. Exhale, hug knees right into your chest. So as you hug in, move the air out. Really good. Rock side to side on your back. Just rock. Do you remember how rocking could be so soothing when you were younger? That's because it's the rhythm that really deeply soothes your nervous system. It was good for you then and it's good for you still. Rock side to side just a little more. Massaging out your back. Your body knows where you need movement or where you need stretch or where you need breath. 
And where you need it is the places you can't get it, <laughs> where it feels tight, where you feel stuck breathing, etc. Just rock. Okay, great. Now rock all the way up to flat feet. <clears throat> you rock up to flat feet, and all I want you to do is I want you sitting on your bum, and then I want you to come onto all fours where your feet are flat into the floor, knees hip width, hands are behind you, shoulder width apart, and you're just pushing into your hands and your feet and you're stretching your chest and your hips way up. If your head feels okay to stretch back, feel free. All we're doing is opening up the front side. And if we open up the front and we massage out some places in the spine, you'll get more air through the practice. Bring your uh, buttocks back down to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Make your way to downward dog. In your downward dog, your feet are hip width apart. Your hands are shoulder width apart and your fingers are spread nice and wide. And you want the right amount of space between your hands and your feet. Too much space, it makes you feel like you don't have a good solid footing. Too little, your spine is going to be all rounded. So find your place. On your mat, find your place. In your life, find your place and find your people. Take your legs together and inhale your leg, right leg, straight up in the air. And now just bend your right knee, flex your right foot, and just roll the right side open. And then roll the hip down and put your foot back on the ground. Now do the same thing on the left. And if you feel like, wow, my legs are pretty um, shaky or tight, just have one knee down on the floor. But again, we're just starting out. If you can, inhale, left leg straight up in the air. Exhale, bend the left knee. With the left foot flex like it's pushing against a wall, roll your left hip open just a bit. It'll give it space where it's been all cramped up, period. Like that's all it is. You're adding breath to the movement where things need to be opened back up inside you, in your physical body, in your emotional body, in open your mind. It's all connected. Take that foot back to the floor. Walk your feet straight up to the front edge of your mat. On your inhalation, put your hands on your shins, front shins, or your knees. You want your knees super bent, and it's as if you're pushing your buttocks to the back wall while your spine and your chest are pulling forward away from your hips. Take a breath in. Exhale it out. Fold forward. I want your knees super, super bent. Just starting. Be easy. On the inhale, everything's going to rise up. You rise up to stand. And while you're rising up to stand, your arms are reaching over your head. But I want you to take a moment to bring your arms down to your sides. And instead, drop your gaze to look at your feet. Your feet need to be pressed down into your mat and the floor. And then squeeze up your legs. Squeeze them up. And feel your tailbone behind you draw slightly down toward the heels. So you're super, super strong in your legs. Your legs are like pillars. On the inhale, take the arms up. Be mindful that your shoulders aren't up near your ears. Lift your chin and look straight up into the ceiling. Breathe here. Breathe out. Bring your hands right into your heart. Move your shoulders back a bit. Make room for your lungs to get the air you deserve. You work hard all day. You're running around all day. You're responsible for a lot. Get what you deserve. You take up air so that you'll have that much more in abundance to, to shell out. Bring your thumbs to your forehead center, please. Take a breath in and exhale it out all the way to the bottom of your lungs. Press your thumbs right into your forehead. 
Envision that your practice, every breath, every movement is fueling inner direction where your heart knows it wants to go. Fueling inner direction so that you can keep a very, very clean and clear focus for your day today and what's on your to-do list after this. Fueling inner direction of your own true wisdom. Every breath and every movement dedicated to you finding your way by going within. It'll get you everything you need. And the practice is as much about learning how to trust that, learning how to really quiet our head down, listen to our inner voice, and remind ourselves that that is the voice of something really looking out for us. We just need to make a little time, clear the air to hear it. On a breath in, reach your arms straight up. On a long breath out, bend your knees very deeply. Push your feet into the floor and fold forward. Let your head go, go, go. And then shake it out a little bit. On a long breath in, bring your hands back up to your knees or shins. You're looking for a flat back, so bend your knees and push your buttocks toward the back wall. Feel your chest stretching forward a bit. And move your shoulders down from your ears. On the exhalation, knees stay super, super bent. Head goes super, super low. Chest into thighs, fold. All the air goes out. On the inhale, reach all the way back up to stand. On the exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Feet are hip width apart. You're going to interlace your hands behind your back and squeeze your hands and arms and shoulder blades into each other. And then stretch your chest up and let your head go back if it feels okay. But you want to keep an action of like you're pulling gently your arms and shoulders down toward the floor behind you. On the inhale, take your arms straight back up. On the exhalation, bend the knees, fold forward. Remember, all that air, move it to the bottom of your lungs. That's how you empty. Then there's room for what you need on a bigger, fuller, expansive inhale. Bring that into your halfway lift. Exhale, come back to a high push-up position. Hands are shoulder width apart. I'd like you to start out on your knees. On your knees and have your hips back or your knees back just a little bit so you, you have room. You're on your hands and you're on your knees and I want you to look straight ahead and just rock forward on the inhale. On, you know, rock forward on your knees on the inhale. And then your chest is already past your arms. Now bend your elbows, breathe out, lower down. On the inhale, find a half cobra. So your palms, your forearms are on the floor in front of you, and you're just lifting your chest a bit off the floor, but take breath in here. On the exhale, shift back, down facing dog. (sighs) Take a breath for yourself. Breathe out a sigh of relief. You've gotten yourself back to your mat. Even if it was just yesterday or if it was six months ago, it does not matter. The body is like, yes, welcome back, sweet. The body hurts when it gets all compressed, when it gets tired, when it gets uh, tight and stiff. We take care of ourselves through this practice, even just a few minutes a day. Everything soars, everything blooms, everything comes into more balance health included. Go ahead, walk feet to your hands. With your feet together on the inhale, lift halfway up. On the exhalation, fold forward. Drop that head. Drop your head. You have the rest of the day to be in your thinking gourd. (laughs) It's pumpkin season. There's pumpkins all over my front porch as I'm teaching and leaves all over the lawn. So 
you know, go ahead and bring yourself back to high push up. In high push up, if you can, have your legs straight, knees off the floor, but you're rocking forward instead of on the knees, you're rocking forward on the balls of the feet. That moves your chest just a little bit ahead. And then you lower, bend those elbows into your sides. There can be a little space between your elbows and your uh, torso, just a bit. And then inhale, upward dog this time, palms plant flat. And you just push down strong, you're strong. Push down into the floor with your hands and arms, shoulders back, tops of the feet are on the ground. On the exhale, roll over the toes, get your hips high in the air, head down to the floor, down dog. Breathe here, breathe out. Easy breath in. Gentle sigh. Walk, feet to your hands. Halfway lift, full breath in. Forward fold, exhale, all you got. Hold nothing back. Clean and clear space. And on the inhale, push your feet to the ground. Squeeze up those legs. Plumb that breath into the lungs as you reach high. Empty everything. Heart into thighs. Drop that head. Let go. Let go of something that's got you all knotted up back there. You don't even have to know what it is. And then halfway lift. Breathe in. Send your exhale with you to get you to high push up. In high push up, take a breath in. And you can have your knees on the floor as long as you need to. Build up strength over time. Build the flexibility over time. Lower down. All the air out. Upward dog. Lots of space to take breath in when you move all that out. Like there's nothing in the way, right? Down facing. The exhale pushes your hips high. Your head goes low. Feet are hip width. With your eyes right there between your feet, take breath in. Softly move it out. Hug in your belly. Look forward. You can walk to the front edge of your mat, nice and easy, or you can hug in your belly, bend the knees, and just jump feet towards your hands. You will get there. Lift halfway up, full breath in. Fold forward, empty out. Bend your knees, sink your hips down and bring the weight into your heels. So you shift weight back into the heels of your feet and push down, squeeze up the thighs and stretch your arms straight up in the air. Gently tuck your tailbone toward the floor a bit. Your eyes need to go in one place. I want your tongue on the roof of your mouth, mouth gently closed. Take breath in, listen to my voice. Sink lower, but listen to my voice. It gets a little bit more intense. This pose is a gritty one. Listen to my voice. Breathe in. Listen to my voice. Sink your hips a bit lower. You're just developing muscle that you normally don't get a chance to. It's a whole body, full body practice. All the muscles. Listen to my voice. Breathe in. Okay, great. Exhale, chest to thighs. See, you're stronger than you knew. Inhale, lift halfway up. Get your core hugged in and come to high push-up. Either knees on the floor or your legs are straight. Thighs squeeze. Hug in the core. Rock forward. Empty all the air. Lower. Press your palms flat into the ground. Upward dog. Easy breath in. Open your mouth wide, send that exhalation, packing, downward dog. (sighs) You're freeing up space where everything was jammed up. Could be between your shoulder blades and your hips, the back of your legs. Stay with this and you'll realize that the body's happy to let go of what's heavy, what's dense, what's rigid. Down dog. (sighs) Walk. Feet to your hands. Halfway lift, full breath in, arms reach. Empty all your air, chest to thighs, fold forward. Halfway up, long breath in. 
lengthen that spine. Hug in the core, step back, high push up. Full breath here. Rock forward, low push up. Bend those elbows straight back behind you and a bit in towards your body. Upward dog, straighten your arms if you can, or half cobra. You're on your own path. I'm just honoring where you find yourself today. That's it. Nothing needs, nothing more needs to be added, you know. Down facing dog, press straight back, head low. Take a big breath in. Big sigh. <sighs> Step your right foot forward and turn your back foot flat. Now inhale your arms straight up alongside your ears. Both palms face one another, but your eyes face forward, eye level. Take in breath here and bend your right knee open towards your pinky toe of your front foot. Make sure your knee isn't going beyond your ankle. Keep your knee in alignment with your ankle. Take one more breath in, squeeze up your back leg. We always think it's about the front body, and it is. But the back body says, come on, man, use me, utilize me. The back leg is strong, squeeze it, please. Reach high with your arms. Exhale your way back to high push-up. Awesome job. Breathe in, high, empty out, low push-up. Breathe in, upward dog or half cobra. Breathe out, <sighs> let the exhale go whooshing through you to get you to down dog. Bend your left knee and step your left foot forward. Even if you gotta grab that left ankle and plop it up there, who cares? It's all progress. Press your back foot into the floor. Your inhale lifts you into a warrior one left side. So your left knee is lunging, but not past your ankle. Your outer edge of your back foot is pushing like it's almost against the door casing and you're squeezing up your back leg. There'll be a tendency for the butt to stick out. Gently, gently, gently. Tuck your tailbone toward your back heel. Pull in your belly. Squeeze up that back leg. Notice I put some attention into your back leg. Why did I do that? Because there's power there. You have power. You have more power than you probably use daily. Bend your front knee, push it to your baby toe edge. That's going to coax open that left hip. It doesn't feel great. Those first warriors, they don't feel great. But add no more story to that. Just go, yeah, <laughs> it sucks. <laughs> or it's tight. Or, oh my God. But breathe into that. Exhale, bring your palms flat. High push up. In. Empty out, low. Upward dog, plumb that breath right in. You need oxygen. Downward dog. No offense, but we are not, our bodies are not designed to only run on Duncan. We have natural energy called oxygen. Get fresh air into those lungs by inhaling. Get all the air that's stale, that's stagnant, that's just sort of ugh, dense. Carbon dioxide that didn't get out, get it out. Down dog. Breathe in. Clear. Walk up, feet to hands. Halfway lift, inhale. Fold forward, exhale. Bend your knees, sink your butt. Get the heels down into the ground. Reach the arms high. Exhale, fold forward. Upward dog, big breath in. Shoulders, move them out of the way. Downward dog, let that head go. Let those hips lift. Bend the knees a bit. It's okay to bend the knees in down dog while you're still cranking out a bunch of them. Good. Right foot, step it forward. Back foot, plant it into the floor. Press that right knee open and inhale yourself all the way up. And this time, just go back. Exhale to get to the floor. High push up, breathe in. Empty out, low. Upward. In. 
downward, out, <sighs> left foot, move it along, place it, press the back foot, inhale, go up, let your exhale take you back, <sighs> breathe in, get to the floor, high push up, low, upward, down facing, take a long breath in, and then a longer one out. Take a big inhale and a big sigh. Good. Inhale your right leg straight up in the air. Exhale, hug it tight, knee to nose. You rock the shoulders over the wrist and you suck your belly up. Inhale, kick it high. Exhale, rock it in, knee to your nose. Inhale, stretch that right leg far back and up. One more. Exhale, knee to nose. Take your right foot and place it just there near your right wrist. Keep your back heel lifted. Your back heel is lifted and you bring yourself up to stand. You inhale the arms up. You exhale. You turn your torso. So turn your torso right away from that left hip. Probably feel it, right? Place your palms together right at your heart. Your left elbow is right there outside your right knee. You always can bring your knee down to the ground. Take care of yourself. If you wobble, let yourself build into strength. But know that wobble is the way to warrior strength. Take your bottom hand on the fingertips to the floor. Upper arm to the ceiling. Take a breath in. As you breathe all the air out, you'll twist then. Take yourself all the way back up into warrior two. So you're coming up and your back foot goes flat, just like it did warrior one. And your arms are over your legs, but your eyes are on your right middle finger. And your focus is like steely, like boom, razor it in. That's your right middle finger. Go ahead, take your right arm straight up in the air. Right knee, nudge it open a bit more. On the exhalation, take your right forearm to your right thigh. Lift your chest up. Exhale, roll open. The right shoulder, or the upper shoulder goes back. Take a breath here. Press your right knee open a tiny bit. Release, high push up. Nice work. Lower down. Upward dog. Down facing. Take a big stretch up with that left leg. Just stretch it out of your left hip. Exhale, rock forward, shoulders over your wrist, knee to your nose. Tuck your chin in, belly in. Kick up on a breath in, stretch. On a breath out, hug tight, knee to nose. One more, in. Exhale, hug in tight. Then place your left foot right there at your left wrist. You can, you're on the ball of your back foot or you can bring your back knee down on the ground. You're gonna turn your torso as you breathe out. You're gonna look left. You're gonna place your palms together at your heart. And then you're gonna twist so that right elbow is right there outside that left leg. Take in a breath. And when you bring the breath through, twist more. Take your bottom fingertips to the floor, under your bottom shoulder. Take your upper arm high in the air. Twist and empty out, breathe out. Inhale, bring yourself back into warrior one. Back foot is flat. Squeeze up your back leg and nudge your left knee a little bit more to the baby toe edge of the front foot. Eyes on your left middle finger and stay breathing. Hear my voice in. As your hips sink a bit lower on the out breath, stay with my voice. Go ahead, inhale your left arm, forearm, look at it. Left palm, turn it to your face and stretch up. Out breath, left arm comes to your front leg. Knee open, roll your chest open like you're just throwing off a heavy winter coat, which is kind of comical in New England because we are in the late fall. But already, just throw off last year's winter baggage. 
throw off last week's win- like last week's baggage that feels heavy. If it's emotional stuff that's heavy, heavy stuff of life, it feels heavy. And what it does is it constricts your breathing. It's all connected. Return your upper hand to the floor. Be in high push-up. Be in low. Be in up dog. Be in your down dog. How do you be in these poses? By just staying with the breath. Without the breathing. Without the breathing starting to iron out and smooth out. It all feels like just something out the breathing. It'll feel like you're just going through the motions, man. And that's why you'll stay in your head. So you need the breath sound to start shutting off the inner thinking, the inner dialogue, and definitely the inner critic. Walk up, feet to your hands. Take a long breath in, sweep the arms high. And a long breath out, eagle. The right arm's coming under the left. The elbows are bent and your forearms are right there in front of your face. Your right leg squeezes on top of your left. Your eyes eye level. Your shoulders just look gently to, and slowly to line them up over your hips and hug in your belly. Bend your bottom knee, breathe out. In breath, arms reach. Out breath, left arm under. And left leg comes up and squeezes on top. You look to just line up shoulders over hips as much as you can. Otherwise, the upper body pitches forward, and then we are out of alignment of the shoulders and hips, so we'll struggle to physically balance. Bend the bottom knee. Breathe all the air out. In breath, sweep up. Tree pose. Take your right foot to your inner left ankle, inner left calf, or inner left thigh. And it doesn't matter what you did the last practice. That's gone. That's gone. That's why Shavasana comes at the end. It's our way for our practice that we just put all that into to just let go and die out. And yet it stays with us. It's imprinted in us. So find where your right foot's going. And then remember that that right foot needs something strong to press into. When the right foot has to work really hard all alone, it makes everything harder. Doing everything alone, doing hard stuff alone, is just harder. Bring your hands to your heart. Shoulders back. Eyes are eye level. Your body is going to go where your eyes go. So keep your eyes straight ahead, but soft gaze. Let your jaw relax. Let the breath come in. Let the breath empty out. Press your leg into the foot, the foot against the leg. So there's a right and left symmetry instead of just the dominant part of the body doing all the work, all the load, all the heavy lifting. Now your leg is strong so your spine and shoulders can soften. Belly draws in. Interlace your fingers right over your head. Push your palms into the ceiling. As if. Tiny action, but in that intention, that's where it'll feel like it's going. Take that foot to the floor. Shake that left leg out. Shake it out. Oftentimes, however, we are strong. And we can be strong in crazy ways, right? Life will have us really develop strength. Sometimes in excess. So you want the lower body strong, but the upper body supple. That's more balance. Now bring your left foot in to your right leg, wherever it wants to go. Gently press that left knee open to start coaxing open that hip and give it some sunlight, give it some air, circulation, flow, a breath. Your eyes are eye level, but direct your breath into that left tight hip. Move all the air out. Interlace your fingers right over your head. Have your shoulders think about lining them up on, over your hips and drop that tailbone just a bit toward the floor. 
On the inhale, you'll realize your body stretches and goes skyward. Keep rooting down through the bottom foot. Squeeze up your bottom leg so there's a real solid strength for that foot to press into. There will be times in life that you're going to be the strong one for somebody, and there will be times when you'll need someone to be strong for you. That's balance. Bring your hands to your heart and take your foot to the floor. Bend to your knees. Inhale, arms reach up. Empty everything. Fold forward. Halfway lift. Full breath in. Step back. High push up. Lower. Upward dog. Big breath. Out breath. Down dog. Right foot steps forward. Warrior one. Open wide. Warrior two. Arms are over your legs. Nudge the front knee open. Reverse your warrior right arm facing you, going up. Right leg straightens now. Right arm goes stretching forward to the front wall, triangle. It's like you press your right hip towards your back foot. And then you squeeze up both legs and you just turn your torso, roll it open. You can look to the ceiling with your upper hand straight up in the air. Or you can look toward the back wall, tuck your chin to that upper shoulder. Breathe here. Let your upper arm pull you to stand. (sighs) Now you're turning your right foot to face the left wall. So 10 toes, both feet face the left wall. You're in a straddle and you want to press the outer edges of your feet as though they're against solid door casings. Squeeze up your legs. You interlace your hands behind your back. That action of stretching the arms a little bit away from your low back. And squeeze your shoulder blades into each other. And exhale, your whole upper body falls forward. Your head goes super low. Your head shakes gently side to side. You can bend your knees a bit. And you think about, it's as if your hips are just lifting and stretching up toward the ceiling. Head gets lower. Eyes are on one place. A forward bend is a great way to really start bringing a restoring, calmer, deeper ease to your nervous system. Your yoga practice is very personally working on you. And the yoga gods knew you would find your way to your mat in this life. Sigh of relief that you are finding what you needed for your soul to have something to grab onto to get you through things to keep you hopeful and healthier flexible and stronger come on back up please take your right foot step it forward step your back foot to meet your right bend your knees inhale arms go straight up empty everything heart right into your thighs Lifting halfway up. Breathe here. Exhale, get your core in. High push up. Lower. In breath, up dog. Out breath, down. Your left foot goes right into warrior one. So move forward, stay with me. Inhale right up. As you exhale, you're turning your torso and your hips to the right wall. Your arms are over your legs. Turn your left arm up and reverse your warrior. So your arm stretches up and back on the out breath. Go back. Take your left leg, straighten it. And just look ahead and stretch that left arm straight out in front of you. Your left hip, your left buttock, it presses towards your back heel. Squeeze up both legs. And turn your torso. So you have one hand, bottom hand, on your bottom leg. Wherever you can get enough lift so you can breathe easy, your lungs are open. And then your upper arm can go straight up in the air. Palms spread, fingers wide. Take a big breath in. Push down into the floor with your feet and strong legs. And bring yourself on up to stand. 
Turn your left foot. So now 10 toes face the right side of your room. You're in that straddle. Bring your hands to your hips. Envision your favorite superhero. When I was growing up, it was always Wonder Woman. And I'm old school, so it's the original Linda Carter. Who is your hero? And can you put yourself on the list? With your eyes straight ahead, breathe in. You've survived so many things, haven't you? And I feel that about you today. And your practice helps give you just a little bit of medicine, a little bit of magic, and a little bit of mojo for you to be strong and authentically you. Take your exhalation with you and fold forward, please. Let your head go. Let your head go. The breath goes out, the more the upper body comes toward the floor. That's how you increase flexibility. You don't do it by ramming yourself into poses when your hamstrings are going, what the hell are you doing? (laughs) So bend those knees, soften the knees. Relax your jaw. Let your nervous system get what it came for while you're also looking to increase flexibility, strength, balance, and clear your clear your head out a bit. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring yourself on up. And then pause a moment so the blood can get back down to your feet. Your left foot. Face it forward. Step your right foot in. Bend your knees, sink your hips, in breath, arms go up. Sink your hips lower and lower. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway up, breathe in. High push up. Low. Upward. Downward. Go ahead, take a breath in, empty it all out. You're going to bring yourself onto your knees. You're going to take the front edge of your mat. You're going to fold it over a couple times. You're going to give your knees lots of love, therefore padding. (laughs) Cushion, support, those things are loving, tiny gestures, and the body will feel them. Knees are hip-width apart, feet are hip-width. Let your tailbone drop. Don't let your butt stick out to the back wall. You want to feel the action of like your inner thighs are pulling together. Just think, press my inner thighs together. Activate them. Your hands now need to completely support your low back. Press your hips and thighs forward. Stretch your gaze upward. Let your head go back. You're completely supporting your low back. If you do not do that, you're literally telling your body, I'm not looking out for you. You're telling your lower spine, I'm not looking out for you. You need to have your own back. Press your heart up in the air. Let your shoulders come down away from your ears a little bit. Exhale right where you are. Take breath in. Listen to my voice. Gently open your mouth. Let it move the air out. One more. Breath in. Let go. The more you take the breath to the bottom of your lungs, even with your chest upright, you'll feel yourself drop in to something more settled. More settled emotionally because you just did some big... Back strengthening and also emotional heart opening. Come on up onto the knees. Bring yourself out onto your butt. Unfold the front edge of your mat. And go ahead and take a moment to just collect your bearings thus far. Wrap your arms around your front shins. Inhale. Exhale. Gently drop your head down to your knees. Or stack your arms on top of one another on your knees and just let your head rest. 
Listen to your breathing in. Listen to your exhalation. As you release tension thus far, your breathing gets longer, it deepens, and then as a result, you're more relaxed. And so as a result, you're more relaxed. You can breathe without so much hard labor, like without so much hardcore hard labor. It's so easy in this life to really feel the hardcore extremes of our planet. To forget, you know, forget anything we're trying to all personally manage in our personal lives. So let your practice be a refuge for whatever you're managing inside, in your life, and globally, because we're all affected. Let this practice be a positive effect internally and for how you carry yourself as you're going through life. Go ahead, bring your legs out in front of you, please. And just separate your legs pretty wide. And inhale, take your arms straight up. And exhale, forward fold. Your hands are shoulder width apart, palms are on the ground. You keep your knees super bent, but you pull your toes up toward the ceiling and you breathe in, chest lifts. And you breathe out to fold. And you breathe in, your chest lifts away from the ground. And you breathe out to fold in just a bit more. No force, no ramming. You don't jam open what's been jammed up. It's too jarring. Bring yourself on up. We'll do a little bit of um, hip opening, please. So take your right ankle over your left knee. You're on your bum. I realize you cannot see me, so I'm really trying to make sure you get the information without too much information. (laughs) Hands are behind you, shoulder width apart. And all I want you to do is just press your right knee gently away from you and you'll feel your right hip crease open up. And then I just want you to press your chest forward toward that front leg toward that top leg and press the right leg away from you, away from your hip. And then I just want you to take your back foot and bring it under and take your right foot flat on the floor. You're going to move your way into a very gentle seated twist. On the inhale is when you lengthen the spine, but your hips plant to the floor. Breathe in. Your fingertips on the floor behind you with the back hand. Gently twist open as you breathe out. You're turning to the right wall. Breathe in right where you are, still in the twist. Gently exhale. Come on back. Left ankle, cross it over the right thigh. Flex your left foot. Just start nudging, your hands are behind you on the ground. Just start nudging your left hip away. Or sorry, your left knee and thigh away from your hip. And then at the same action, is the upper foot pushes like it's against an imaginary door. It's a tiny, tiny movement, but you'll feel it in a big way. And it's not easy. It's not easy. And it's not easy to go into things that aren't easy is it? So just keep your breath with you. That's your tool. Keep my voice with you. You're not alone. Breathe in. Breathe out. Now walk your hands a little more toward you from behind. 
Press your chest a little more forward. Press that left leg a little more away. You can tuck your chin down if you want towards your chest. I want nice, easy breath in. All the air needs to go. Take your back foot, draw it under you, and take your left foot flat on the ground in front of you. Take a gentle twist. Your back fingertips are on the floor behind you. You press your back shoulder away from you a bit. You breathe in here. Plant those hips down. You breathe out. Easy does it twist. Right here, breathe in. Dump it. Twist more. Right here, breathe in. Twist more. Really good. Take the soles of your feet together and let your knees butterfly out. Grab hold of your ankles. Sit up nice and tall. Breathe in. Let your exhale be what folds your upper body toward the floor more. Let your inhale be what feels, uh, has your torso sense the lift up. And you, as your chest lifts away from the ground more, you lengthen your spine out of your hips more. And you breathe out, you fold in a little bit more. You'll feel that probably right across your buttocks. Only go as far as you can to feel the stretch without feeling you're going over the ledge. So you want to work a part where there's been compression and contraction, but not where you go off the cliff. I always say, if you cannot breathe in it, you are really going to struggle to be in it. If you can't breathe with ease, even challenged, you got to back off. You got to do things a little bit with more ease or more of a baby step instead of a, you know, giant land on the moon kind of thing. I don't know the quality of your nervous system but I know the quality of your nervous system has everything to do with your eating and digesting properly and sleeping well and focusing. I know the quality of your nervous system has everything to do with how comfortable you feel in your own skin, how confident you feel. I know the quality of your nervous system has everything to do with your anxiety So all we're doing is we are breathing in and opening up the body and stretching and getting movement, getting air where it's needed. But we're also really working deeply on the nervous system. Because it's the one thing we can do where we can be our source of refuge. Bring yourself up. Take your legs out in front of you. Please lay onto your back. Bend your knees again like you did in the beginning. Feet hip width. Arms out to your sides, palms up. Full breath in. Exhale out. Knees go right, chin left. Full breath in. Legs go back up. Empty all the air. Legs fall left. Chin softens into the right shoulder. I do know the quality of your nervous system having a little bit more peace than maybe when you got on the mat will have everything to do with how your day goes today or this evening. I created Refuge Yoga originally for me. My life feeling really, really challenging really cornered and really just kind of gunned down. And it didn't get better overnight and it didn't get better for a very long time. In many ways, it's still not. So I had to do something. I had to do something. 
that much was in my control. And it has helped me bring yourself back up. Legs straight out in front of you. Exhale everything you got. And my feeling compassion for my experience and my last few years and my last year. My feeling enormous grief and fear and fright. Stirring up the pot on all my old anxiety, PTSD, etc. And, you know, very, um, for the most part, pretty isolating. With the exception of a very few sacred, sacred souls out there. And then I had that moment where I thought about you. Some of you I know, and so many of you I don't yet. But we're all suffering. And you have to feel for your own suffering to really be able to grasp another's. You have to feel for what's been hard for you. To really feel in your heart, not in your head. You can't know suffering in your head. That's not really (laughs) the full Monty definition. You have to know your own suffering from your experience. Not mine, not your sister's, not your best friend. Yours. And what I've learned about that is it just extends the olive branch heart to heart for another. And when you go through shit, when you go through really hard stuff, when you have mud being flung at you, when you know isolation, when you know ignorance, from your own personal felt experience. The way you show up to humanity changes. You start to be a a human refuge for another. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Take a big breath in, empty it out. I'm not saying that you have to go through extremes to be able to have an invite to come to my teaching or my practice or my channel. I'm just saying that I feel for anything that you've suffered in. And everyone's got a different level and a different quality of sensitivity. And I know what it is. To be brought up against some stuff. And so in that way, without even knowing you, I feel you and I have an understanding. Or I wouldn't be talking the way I'm talking. Taking people through a warrior, a push-up, or a triangle. May your yoga practice today be that little bit of refuge in your corner of the world. Stay here as long as you like. I would love for you to join me again. Every practice will be unique because every day is different. This was my offering to you for today. We'll see what rolls in and comes out my mouth for next time. You are loved. 
and I am grateful for you, and you matter. Take it easy. Namaste.